Hi, today we're working on yoga for flexibility. This video is meant for people who are brand new to yoga and also for people who feel that they are very inflexible. My name is Zelinda. I specialize in customizing the yoga practice so that people with all kinds of bodies can participate and benefit. Let's get started. Start by setting up a comfortable standing position. You might be most comfortable with your feet together, or if you choose, you can keep your feet a little bit apart. Do whatever feels right for your body. Let me share a couple of notes about the practice we're about to do. The first thing is that we're going to be doing several repetitions of each posture or each sequence. So if you don't get all of the instructions during the first round, don't worry, I'm gonna keep going and you can catch up when you're ready. And the second thing is, and this is really important, the yoga practice should not be painful. If there's a posture that's not working well for your body, we can definitely find a variation that will work better for you. Um, probably I'm gonna go ahead and explain all the variations in the video, but in case I don't cover what you need, please don't hesitate to type me a note in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you to help you figure out how to make the pose work best for your body. Okay, now, Let's get started. Um, so your feet are in a comfortable position. The first thing we're gonna do is lengthen the spine with a little bit of arm movement. So on an inhale, sweep your arms out and up. Exhale, bring your arms out and down. Inhale, out and up to any height that's comfortable for you. Exhale smoothly down. We're going to do about four more. Keep going. And I'll keep talking. I'm going to give you a little bit of information about breathing. If coordinating the breath and the movement is too challenging to start, don't worry about the breathing. Just do the movement for now and you can figure out the breathing later. Last one. We do want to make sure that the movement is slow and smooth throughout the yoga practice. All right, we finished that one. Let's move to the next one, which is forward folding. And we'll repeat forward folding throughout our practice today because most people experience quite a lot of tightness in the back of the body, especially in the back of the legs. So here's our first round of forward folding, and we'll consider it to be like a warm up round so we don't have to go to our maximum capacity, we just wanna be easy. Inhale, bring your arms forward and up to a height that's comfortable for you. Then exhale, bend your knees and fold. Just a gentle little fold, however much works well at this stage. Then on an inhale, activate your leg muscles to stand you back up. And exhale, and relax your shoulders down. Here we go again. Inhale, arms forward and up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Strong legs, inhale, come up. Exhale, shoulders relax down. Two more, inhale. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale, strong legs to come back up. Exhale, shoulders relax. Last one, inhale. Exhale, inhale, stand up, exhale, shoulders relax. All right, now please take a wide position with your feet. You might wonder how wide, um, up to the length of one of your legs. So a little bit of a wide stance. Let your hands rest down alongside you, just right on your legs is perfectly fine. Now we're going to work on stretching out the sides of the body, like through the sides of your torso. So inhale, lengthen your spine so you're tall. Exhale, side bend to your left as much as is comfortable for you. Inhale, up to the center. Exhale, over toward the right. We're going to keep going. Inhale to the center. 
Exhale toward the left. Inhale to the center. Exhale toward the right. Inhale to the center. Exhale left. Inhale center. Exhale right. Inhale center. This is our last round over toward the left. Inhale to the center, exhale to the right. Inhale to the center, exhale, let your shoulders relax down. Great, now let's go back to forward folding. So set yourself up with either your feet together or some space between your feet. And we're gonna go again for four more rounds. Maybe this time we can go a little bit farther down the legs. Inhale, arms move forward and up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale, strong legs, walk your hands back up. Exhale, shoulders relax down. Inhale, arms forward and up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale, slide your hands up your legs. Exhale. Shoulders rest down. Two more rounds. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, strong legs to stand up. Exhale, shoulders relax. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, strong legs lift you up. Exhale. Shoulders relax down. Okay, good. Now let's work on a little bit of back bending and we're going to do a pose called warrior. Um, I'm going to show you this from the front and then I'm going to also show you from the side. So what you're going to do is you're going to step your left foot forward and keep your right foot back. And you want to make sure that you have a lot of width between your feet. In other words, we want wider this way rather than one foot like close behind the other because this will give you better stability for the work that you're about to do. Um, okay, let me go ahead and turn sideways now that you know about that. And so we've got the width between the feet. And then from this side, what I need to show you is that you're gonna bend your knee just directly over your ankle. Please don't bend too far um, past your ankle because that may strain your knee. All right, while we're doing this knee bending movement, we're also going to be doing some movement with the arms, bringing the arms back like this for the purpose of improving mobility in the upper part of your back. Okay, here we go. Please engage your abdominal muscles. Think about drawing your belly button in. Then inhale, bend your front knee and bring your arms back. Exhale, straighten your knee, bring your arms down. Inhale, knee bends, arms back. Exhale, knee straightens, arms down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Wonderful, go ahead and step your left foot back. Now the right foot steps forward Please make sure you've got your wide stance, your hips are facing toward the front, and you're engaging your abdominal muscles. All right, here we go. Inhale, front knee bends just right over the ankle, and the arms go back. Exhale, knee straightens, arms down. Smoothly, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, last one, inhale, and exhale. All right, go ahead and step your right foot back. And we're next going to move into twisting. So the way we're gonna do this today is we're gonna use a little bit of a wide stance, maybe just a little bit wider than your hips. Just wanna make sure I've got enough space, I'm gonna scoot forward a bit. Okay, here we go. On an inhale, sweep your arms out toward the sides. Your palms are facing down. Then on exhale, twist 
toward your left as much as you're comfortable. Turn your palms to face that direction as well. Inhale to the center, palms face down. Then exhale, twist toward the right, palms face that direction. Inhale to the center. Now your arms get a break. Exhale down. There's one round. Inhale, arms stretch out. Exhale, twist left. Inhale to the center. Exhale, twist right. Inhale to the center. Exhale, arms rest down. Let's do two more rounds. Inhale. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist toward the right. Inhale to the center. Exhale, arms rest down. Last one if you're up for it. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Okay. Shoulders might be tired after all of that. Go ahead and shake your arms out. And then let's come back to our forward folding. This time, maybe we'll go a little bit further down the legs. Inhale, arms move forward and up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold as much as you're comfortable. Make your legs strong. Inhale, come up. Exhale, shoulders relax down. If you're interested in more intensity, I have an arm variation for you. So inhale, arms forward and up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. For more intensity, you can stretch your arms forward and up, and then exhale and bring your arms forward and down. Either arm variation is perfectly fine. Inhale, exhale and fold as much as you're comfortable. Inhale, come up with your strong legs. Exhale, arms forward and down. Inhale, arms forward and up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, come up. Exhale, just your arms forward and down. Very nice job. Go ahead and relax your arms, relax your legs. Just shake everything out a little bit. Now let's start to wind down the practice with a little bit of breathing. For the breathing practice, you're going to want to sit in a comfortable position. And just depending on your body, that might mean that you prefer to sit on the floor or you might prefer to sit on a chair. The breathing practice that we're going to work on today has the added benefit of helping to release tension from your neck and shoulders. So what you're going to do is sit up tall, relax your shoulders down, then, when you inhale, you're going to lift your chin so that your face tilts up toward your ceiling. Then, exhale and slowly lower your chin down toward your chest, just like that. Inhale, start to tilt your head so your face looks up. Exhale, slowly lower your chin down toward your chest. You can close your eyes if you want to. Try to make this movement as smooth as possible. Let's do four more breaths. You can go at your pace. When you finish, inhale, bring your head to a neutral position and you can open your eyes. Very good job. What did you think of today's practice? Was it easy? Did you find it challenging? Do you have any questions? If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you with an answer as soon as I can. 
I'd like to leave you with just a little bit of information about how to improve your flexibility. The key is to practice consistently. So if you liked this video, you might choose to do it every day or you could do it most of the days of the week. Um, and then once you get a little more flexible, please keep an eye out for the next flexibility video that I'm going to work on for you. It's going to just take things a step further so that you can continue to work on becoming more flexible. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.